All right, guys, I got a really unique video for you today. It's something that I've been thinking about doing for quite some time, and honestly, I've just kind of put it off and put it off, put it off. But today, I think, is the right day to do it. Uh, today, I'm going to build a tackle box, a, a small, probably seven by nine inch tackle box. Um, I'm gonna build this tackle box. I'm gonna put all kinds of stuff in it that I would use or what I would pack if I was taking a small tackle box camping or it was like a survival tackle box. And, and that's really kind of what it's uh, built around is a, the survival uh, mentality. You know, if you had one tackle box and you had to pack just some certain baits, hooks, line, you know, whatever it was in that tackle box, that is what we're gonna do today. But you know, I'm gonna add a little twist. You know, I always add a little twist to everything I do. And this particular day, I'm gonna add that twist. That twist is, I'm gonna build this tackle box. I'm gonna go buy everything that is needed for this tackle box, and then I'm gonna give it to somebody. And probably one of you. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm requesting is, basically, I'm gonna build this tackle box. I want you to comment below what is one bait that you would have in your tackle box, no questions asked in the survival mindset so end of days whatever you want to think of it as a, a prepper or whatever um there's a lot of ways to look at this but in my mind i think it's always important to have that kind of stuff i'm not a prepper i promise guys I, i'm not one of those guys but in the case of fishing we can't take all the the fishing tackle we have we can't take our boats in all cases we can't we don't all have that kind of stuff so it's always good to have that one tackle box set aside for that emergency situation where you might need some fishing stuff. I know it's crazy, might not be higher up, high up on the list for some, but if you're a camper or somebody like that that likes to travel and don't, you know, don't wanna take up a whole lot of room with 37 tackle boxes and 20 bags of worms and all that stuff, this is definitely the video for you. So like I said before, all I want you to do is comment what your favorite bait is that you would take if you could only take one bait. Comment that below and let's get this party started. We're at Walmart here and uh, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm gonna put in it yet. So we're just gonna go look down the aisles, find a bunch of stuff, buy a bunch of stuff and somebody is going to win it. So until we get in the store, let's, uh, let's see what we can find. All right, guys, we're officially in Walmart. Let's see what few things that we can find to put in this survival tackle box. Shouldn't be too terribly hard. Let's see what we can find. I'm going to tell you the very first thing that's going in this tackle box is that right there. The Strike King Mini King spinnerbait. I'm going to actually put two of those in there because that's how big a deal that is. Um, let's see. I put white in there. You always want something that you have you want two colors you want white and you want one that has some chartreuse in it and i'm gonna put two in there that are white chartreuse and blue which happens to be one of my favorite colors all right so we've got four spinner baits in the box so far let's see what else we can find uh oh you know this one has to go in there this is the bitsy jig striking bitsy jig want to turn on that thing hmm let's go one white one and one green pumpkin Hard to beat those two colors. And I wanna explain my, my mindset here. I, I'm gonna steer away from soft plastics because they're, you know, you can tear them up to an extent where you can't use them anymore. So it's really hard to catch more and more fish on those. So I'm thinking of like a jig with like a trailer that doesn't tear up very much, maybe a topwater spinnerbait, stuff that doesn't tear up as much and catch a lot of fish on. And that's what we're looking at today is finding those things that we can catch multiple, multiple fish on therefore lasting longer and and more time in your tackle box that uh you know you don't have to replace it so let's see what else we can find all right guys one of the things that i think is really important is a good tackle box and i'm not going to shortchange you on that uh the one that i am going to is it's like a seven by nine inch but it's a waterproof tackle box which i think is really important you don't want it to ever ruin your baits so the next thing on our list is actually going to not be a bass bait it's going to be a crappie bait we're going to go with the mr crappie shad pole smoky shad now the jig head on this that i use is a roadrunner head and i happen to see them on sale over here let's see which one are we going with right there 
Roadrunner heads on sale for a dollar a piece. Eighth ounce, about the right size. Let's go ahead and get two packs of those red hooks. Um, white head, I mean, nothing too crazy, but just something that'll work. It's the only plastic that I will use is for crappie, but I mean, it's great for catching bluegill, crappie, bass, lots of things that swim. Another good thing, I was sitting here looking through the fishing section, is actually a mini trap. This is a little eighth ounce trap. Uh, I keep colors pretty basic. I'm gonna go with a chrome and blue. Um, nothing too crazy there. I don't even know, it might even fall through the like buggy. It's pretty crazy. I'm thinking of things when I was a kid. What did I used to take anywhere and everywhere to catch fish? And, and that's what I'm doing today, is just trying to find things that I would take just about anywhere in this country and catch a bass or, or a crappie or a perch or whatever. Number one bait when I was a kid was that right there, which was a beetle spin. It's a soft plastic, but it's a little spinner bait. Uh, I remember having those as a kid. Definitely used to catch a ton of fish on those. Um, in regards to like, when you start looking for baits that you think are gonna catch a lot of fish, and maybe in that situation where you know, you just got to catch that fish in a crunch or a short amount of time. A top water is another great option. I'm actually going to bring you a couple of top waters from my house. I have the perfect top waters already, and I'm not going to buy those. But in regards to other stuff, let's see what else we can find. So another great addition would be uh, live bait. You know, anytime you caught a cricket or a worm, you could actually uh, rig that up on a hook. So in that regard if i'm using that i'm actually going with the, that particular hook right there uh it's just a blank plain shank even claw that's uh, a bronze hook it's a little bit smaller it's good for bluegill or crappie and so that's what we're going with there the only problem is is there's no split shots here right now because i'm assuming because of shipping and stuff but you also need some bobbers so that's going to be added into the pack as well so one of my favorite baits as a kid, and I caught like a million fish on it, I just found it, is actually a tiny torpedo. It's a top water with a little blade on the back. Phenomenal bait, fishing rivers, creeks, ponds, anything and everything, that's definitely going in the bag. Here is our total, let's see, what is it? $43, that's not bad. All right, so we came out of Walmart spending about $43, not a really a bad day. In regard to buying baits, I've definitely spent a lot more money <laughs> when it comes to that stuff. But this is a really cool little deal. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the house. I'm going to put this tackle box together. I'm actually going to add some other stuff in there that I would have that they didn't have at Walmart, unfortunately. And like I said, somebody's going to win this tackle box. But I'm going to put this all together. I'm going to try to make all of it fit, which actually might be a little difficult. But... Worst case scenario, if one or two things don't fit, I feel like that's still a really good day. So, uh, yeah, it's a Walmart challenge. We're halfway through right now. All right, guys, I made it back home building this survival tackle box. And I was thinking on the way home, what could I add to it that I did not buy at Walmart? You know, and there's a lot of things that come to mind whenever it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, should I add crankbait? Should I add top water? Should I add soft plastic? Should I add hooks, weights, you name it. So one particular bait that I found in my garage when I got home was a KVD 1.0. That's definitely going in there. A little square bill. It's a smaller than a 1.5. Uh, is definitely a go-to for me when catching numbers. So for those tournament guys out there, when, when I start talking about this, I'm looking for baits that are catching numbers, kind of like what those guys do in Major League Fishing. So basically, they could take this tackle box and go win one of those tournaments. I'm just kidding. No, it's just a joke. It's all it was. But for real, though, uh, this is going to be a box, a tackle box that is going to be created with numbers in mind. I want to catch anything and everything that swims from bluegill, crappie, bass, etc., and that is what I'm building this box based off of. So we added a 1.0. I'm going to dig in the back of my truck and I'm going to see what else I can find that will help load that boat or load your, your live well or whatever it may be. If you need to eat some fish while you're camping, whatever it is, hopefully the next couple of baits that I add to it will help you do just that. So let's see what we can find in here. So I've already opened up the back of my truck and... Uh, you know, I get made fun of a lot about not being organized, but let's take a look at this. I feel like that's 
fairly organized right now. Look at that. What? I'm also getting ready to leave for Sam Rayburn. So, did I spend some time organizing my boat? Absolutely, I did. Uh, so, that is one reason this thing is just completely spotless right now. So, oh, there's the box I want. Let's try not to bust my butt trying to get up in here. Ooh. Okay. There we go. All right. Top water box. I think that is probably, you know, I added earlier, I added a top water to the, the mix, but it was a, a prop bait. And I'm going to add a KVD Splash. KVD Splash is a popping style bait. I've got a bunch of top waters in this particular box right here. Let me just look at that. It's just a a ton of top waters in there. I'm going to actually add the small version of the KVD Splash. I don't know really what color I'm going to grab. I'm probably going to grab this one, though. Because when I'm thinking, like, creeks, rivers, uh, lakes, I want something that looks natural. Uh, natural shad kind of gets the call for me. You know, I've got particular uh, KVD Splashes uh sexy dogs things like that that i've caught i mean hundreds of fish on about the only thing you have to do is change the treble hooks from time to time when they dole out or bend out and i mean that is going to happen over time i don't care what top water you're going to throw and i'm actually going to add another one too just happens to be one of my favorites that's the the sexy dog junior uh that's the two hook version this is going to be the one that is going to get you a lot of bites out of the sexy dog version or out of the sexy dog lineup uh it's made to get a bunch of bites. So, uh, that, and like I said, that is what we're building this box on. So let's go ahead. We got a couple extra baits. Let's go ahead and build this box, see what we can get in there. I'm gonna sit in my boat and build this box just for you. All right, guys, let's get this tackle box loaded up. See what we can add into here. Um, I'm gonna have to use some scissors to make sure to put these in right. Uh, I'm not gonna put all of these in, but I'll make sure whoever wins this will have this whole group. So if they want to add more dividers in their box, they can. Uh, probably the first thing I'm going to put in is the Mini King spinner baits. I'm telling you right now, guys, if you haven't tried this Mini King, it isn't just some big sponsor push. The Mini King was, and if not, is the still the number one bait at Strike King as far as sales go. It catches millions of fish. I know guys all over the country that catch them on the Mini King. Uh, like I said, I got two of my favorite colors. I got solid white. And I got Sartreuse white and blue. So let's get those in there. Next up, we're going to throw these top waters in here. First, we're going to put in the tiny torpedo. The chrome one has just always been the one I threw as a kid. Uh, like I said, I've caught millions of fish on that thing. Uh, the next one up, Sexy Dog Junior. Let's go ahead and add that in there with that tiny torpedo. And last but not least, the KVD Splash. That's the, the smaller size KVD Splash. And while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and throw in the KVD 1.0. So next up, we're gonna throw in these crappie baits. You know, they're definitely necessary. The cool thing about this is uh, these road runners come with a little Ziploc on them. So I'm just gonna take that off and leave them in the Ziploc. Um, oh, thank you, Yaya. Appreciate it. So we're actually gonna, to keep these in here, I just got a box. I know I can't open it right now. Some secret stuff. Uh, but uh, I'm going to put these road runners in here and the shad poles, the, the two inch shad poles. And I'm going to put those in the, the bigger section of the box right there, as you can see, uh, just to kind of keep those separate. Uh, here's another cool thing. This is the little eighth ounce mini trap. I'm actually going to put that in there. Uh, it's made to actually fit in your box. So I'm going to put that in there without opening it. Uh, it keeps the hooks from getting tangled and things like that. The little quarter ounce white jig. Uh, I didn't add any trailers to this, but if I was to use a trailer in this situation, I couldn't find any. Uh, the trailer I would use in this situation would be like an Elastec type trailer. Uh, there's actually a perfect little Bitsy, uh, uh, Bitsy trailer that we make that is Elastec material that is perfect. Walmart was out of them. I didn't have any at the house, but I got green pumpkin with red and white with red. The two colors that I would feel like you would need to throw. When it comes to crappie hooks or uh, perch hooks, more so perch hooks, here's the little Aberdeen hooks. I actually got two packs of these. Um, if you're using them, you're definitely going to lose them from time to time. It is an open hook. 
and we're gonna throw in oh we got to put our beetle spins in there uh, I mean definitely necessary and let's go ahead and throw in some bobbers I'm just gonna try to take up some space with these bobbers because uh, obviously I got quite a few of them, different sizes, and I think that's also important uh, is to have different sizes because it, it depends if you're fishing for catfish or for bluegill or crappie, whatever it may be. Uh, you need that different size bobber so you're, um, you know what size fish is actually pulling your bait down. So, all right guys, I think we did it. I mean, I think we got it all done. Check this out. We got the box all done, got it all loaded up. Looks great. I mean, it actually looks better than I thought it was going to look. Uh, like I said before, this is what I would consider a a travel box, something that I could take anywhere and everywhere. I'm going to catch some fish on it or catch some fish with these baits. Numbers of fish. The baits aren't going to tear up. You got a couple each of the spinner baits, a couple top waters, and different types of, of actions, whether it's popping, walking, or splashing from that that uh, tiny torpedo. We got some extra hooks in there, you know, in case you're trying to catch bluegill. Only thing that's not in there as far as the bluegill fishing would actually be either the crickets or the little split shots. Like I said, Walmart was out of split shots, so they aren't in this kit. But super easy to add. You can go pick those up at a lot of different places. Academy, Dick Sporting Goods, uh, just to name a few. Got plenty of bobbers of different sizes. A couple jigs. Got to add some trailers. I wasn't going to give you everything here, guys. One thing I did not add that I think is definitely necessary when it comes to this type of kit. You know, we're not going to be able to take every rod and reel that we own uh, with us in this situation what i would recommend is like a two-piece rod something that uh, you can break down into a couple different pieces store in a smaller area a spinning rod a uh, spinning reel a one or two hundred size spinning reel so you can throw that really light stuff like a crappie jig but you can also pick it up and throw a top water in this situation there's only one line i would turn to and that's 10 pound braid strike king tour gray braid i'm actually going to try to throw in a spool i don't have one right here with me but i'm going to try to get one by the time i ship this thing 10 pound braid you can fish so many different things if you're fishing a really light hook like on those crappie baits or even with the bluegill setup all you got to do is loosen that drag a little bit and you're not going to straighten the hook out you want a rod that's like a medium light action uh something that you can fish all of these baits about the only thing you're going to have any problems fishing with a medium light rod is the jig but being a finesse jig if you need to you can cut that weed guard off fish it with an open hook and just reel it put a swim bait on it uh fish it like a swim jig and you can get away with that maybe even go up to a medium action rod something like that but guys this is it this is my little oh my gosh i've got a i've got to get out of the house i get one tackle box this is going to be the tackle box i take with me because day in and day out the baits in this box are going to put a lot of fish in my frying pan and in some cases save my life because i'll be able to eat every day because of all the fish i catch with this so thank you guys for watching if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and if you can share this and remember if you want to win this loaded tackle box you're gonna have to comment below what your favorite bait is and which one what particular bait that you would pack in this box that maybe i didn't add